welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Salute KL3 Pro wireless backlit keyboard and mouse combo. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Let's take a look at the back. So it has RGB backlight. The keyboard has nine backlit colors and three brightness levels. Silent click keyboard, ergonomic design. It has a wrist support. It has a slot for holding a tablet or phone. It's compatible with Windows, Linux, Chrome, and Mac. So let's get this open. So here we have the keyboard. We have a thank you card. Here's the manual. Here's the mouse. This is the USB dongle and USB Type-C charge cable. So the cable is about 32 inches. So before we take a look at that, let's take a quick look at the user manual. So here we have the specs. So this uses a 2.4 gig wireless connection. Battery is 1500 milliamp hours. The working time with the backlight is 15 hours. Charging time is six hours. Connection distance is eight to 10 meters. It will turn off after 90 seconds of inactivity. Then we have the mouse perimeters. This has three DPIs. It has 800, 1200, and 1600. It enters sleep mode after eight minutes without action. The working hours on it is 30 hours. So to connect this up to your computer, you take the dongle and place it into the USB port on your computer. Then there's an on and off switch on the keyboard and the mouse. It has LED indicators on the keyboard. This talks about charging it. And here we have multimedia functions. So these could work different depending on what system you're connected to, or they may not work at all. So you just have to test those out. This talks about pairing up the dongle and here's some notes on the last pages. Let's take a look at the mouse. So let's go ahead and charge this. So the USB is in the front. So when it's charging, the light is on, on the wheel. So this has right and left click, has a scrolling wheel in the middle, which also clicks. This middle button is the DPI setting. On the left side, we have forward and back. So if you're in a web browser, you can do that. Looks like on the bottom of the mouse, we have some plastic here on the pads. Let's peel those off. For the switch here, we have two modes. We have on and backlit, and then we have a button over here to change the lights. Now there's a little port here for your dongle. When you're not using it, you can place it in there for storage. See if it holds tight. Yeah, that's in there nice and tight and we can pull that out when we need to use it. So now let's check out the keyboard. So it has a charge port here on the back. On off switch is next to the charge port and the battery indicators lit up saying it's charging. So here you have a QWERTY keyboard. The keys on this are silent. It does have some different multimedia keys. So this has this very large wrist rest. So when you're typing on it, you can rest your wrist on there. Let's turn it over. And here we have rubber feet on the bottom and it's raised up. So when we place this on a surface, it's not going to slip around. This also has a little place here where you can put your phone or tablet. So maybe you're following some sort of feed, you can have that there conveniently. Or if you're watching a movie, you might have it in like that. So let's get this connected up to a computer. Now you should charge these both fully, but I think there should be enough charge in here. So I have my Windows 10 PC here, take the dongle, I'll place it into the USB here. So this is a front USB. I could also place it in the back, but it's easier in my video to do it here. Now I'll turn these on. I'll turn the mouse on. I'll switch it to backlit so you can see the light here around the perimeter. Now, if I go up here to my screen, it says device is ready. So here I'm operating the mouse. I'm going to make the resolution bigger here. So I can click and right click. I can press that middle button for DPI. So if I move the mouse across the screen, this is slow. I'll press the button. Now it's a little faster. I'll press it again. And this is the fastest. So if you're working on graphic design and you want really precise mouse movement, you can have that slower mode. If you're doing something where you need to move it fast, you can change that DPI. Now we have those multimedia buttons on the keyboard. So I can press search. It will bring up the search in the bottom. So if we want to use some of these multimedia functions, we'll want to hold down function and then the button. So here we have F9 has a house on it. So I'll press that. And that brings up the home page. There's a calculator. We can also adjust the volume. If you're playing music, there's play, pause, next track, previous track. So I really like those multimedia controls. It can make it more efficient to use the keyboard. So let me pull up a website real quick. So I searched for Wikipedia mouse. Now this is bringing up the animal mouse so I can go back on my mouse with this button here and I can scroll down and click computer mouse. Now if I didn't want that, I can press back again and maybe go to laboratory mouse. Of course, I can also scroll up and down with the mouse. It's very smooth. So this also works with Mac, including things like the multimedia keys. We just want to hold down function when you're using those. If we press search, it brings up spotlight search. Let's bring up a text editor. I'll test out the typing on this. It types very nice. 
Now I find sometimes it can take a few minutes to get used to a new keyboard, but this felt very natural to type on. Now let's take a look at the lighting on the mouse. I'll turn off my overhead light so it's a little easier to see. But here we have the light on the mouse, it goes around the perimeter. So here we have the different colors. I'll press the button so we can cycle through them. So that looks kind of like a green, has a little pulsing to it. There's red. Here's a little animation going around it. So it looks like it's chasing around it. There's a solid color. Now let's look at the keyboard. To change color on it, we're going to want to hit function print screen. So let's cycle through those. So I hit it once, it turned it off. So every time I press this, it will go to a different color. So here's an animation. So when I press the keyboard, it lights up. Here's another one, it's sending a wave of color across it. This is solid red, looks like green. Maybe a teal, a blue, maybe a purple. Looks kind of like white. And I'm not a color expert here, so. We can also adjust the brightness of it. So I'll hold down the function and hit the cursor keys up and down. So it looks like we have a couple levels of brightness there. So that's the Sublute wireless keyboard mouse combo. I really like how easy this was to set up. You just take the dongle and you plug it into your computer. And I like that it shares one dongle so you're not taking up multiple USB ports. These keys feel a lot like the keyboard on my laptop. So they're very comfortable. And I like this wrist rest here to support my wrists so they're not hanging down. This keyboard would be great for working in the dark because it has the backlight on the keyboard and mouse. And I like that you can customize both of them. So if you want the flashy animations, you can do that. Or if you just want plain color, that's also an option. So if you're looking for a simple to use keyboard mouse combo with lots of features, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.